folks, thanks for coming on the line today. We're going to be spending the next half hour or so running through one of the options we have to help support prospecting, a way to market, to put yourself in front of folks that qualify for the products that you offer. And this is the use of a direct mail system to prospect for folks who qualify for the programs that you offer. You'll notice on our website representation that's in front of you now, you have an opportunity to go to lead generation tools, to our lead generation, our lead menu program, our lead program menu. And this gives you information about the direct mail programs and the brokerage bucks assistance programs. This is one of the pieces that we're going to deal with in great detail here and now. One of the companies that we use for our direct mail support is America's Recommended Mailers. They're our preferred partner. Um, they're here in Louisville and they work with us to create a catalog of letters for the um, agents that we contract with. And one of the things that you'll see is regardless of what our experience has been in the past with letters and mail, direct mail, junk mail, J-U-N-Q-U-E mail, uh, direct mail is still a viable means of putting you in front of folks that qualify for the programs that you offer. And paraphrase Mark Twain, the death of direct mail has been greatly exaggerated. And while we are becoming increasingly internet savvy, as are many of the prospects that we deal with, you will note that social media doesn't fix any everything. We are uh, strong proponents of using electronic marketing as part of your overall mail campaign, but just as we feel direct mail doesn't solve all problems, no one avenue of pursuing prospects does and we consider it very important for you to put your eggs in multiple baskets not just one the postal service itself still remains the primary backbone of communication across our country and in direct mail itself is a great marketing tool because the majority of people review their mail directly or pardon me daily according to a recent Pitney Bowles survey 8 of 10 review their mail daily 78% of folks prefer receiving mail over other marketing methods. For those of you who have cold called, you probably testify to that. And a number of folks actually say they enjoy reviewing their mail. I know as a kid there was nothing like getting a letter with your name on it. Um, a few years of direct mail sometimes will temper that joy, but the majority of people still enjoy reviewing their mail and 50% have responded to a direct mail offer within the last six months. It still works and of those folks almost all of them have taken action because of a direct mail campaign within the last year. It's a proven way of getting in front of folks and a great way to take tested technology, combine it with modern improvements and make it work even better. So you can use different things and different uh, companies will use different technology to mix with the traditional, so to speak, and make it even all that much more effective. ARM, as I mentioned, America's Recommended Mailers, works with a lot of this technology and works with us to get different messages out to individuals for the different products that we offer. We spend a lot of time marketing Medicare year-round because it's a very viable product year-round and we have different messages to appeal to that population as well. The campaigns based just on rates, uh, some different things with combination of uh, benefits as part of that message, a T65, T65 campaigns appealing to the folks looking at Medicare Advantage programs and then of course for some of the assistance programs such as low income subsidy and Medicare savings plans. This is one of the letters we use, a punch out letter for Medicare supplement programs which give you the opportunity to use a number of different techniques for a letter to uh, the population 
that are interested in a traditional Medicare supplement plan. This is an example of a uh, multiple message campaign with multiple benefits in multiple languages. You'll notice on these programs you have different disclaimers. Medicare Advantage and Medicare Supplements have two different regulatory uh, oversight components and it makes a difference as to how you can say things and what you can say in different pieces. Medicare Supplement programs, well you can still ask for the age. Medicare Advantage, not so much. Um, and we'll take and we'll look at different ways of seeing how we can get you in front of folks with different responses as well, including this piece on um, enrollment periods, applying to the turning 65 folks, and different pieces across the board. On our website, you'll see the different pieces that are available, including the full-blown ARM catalog. And pardon me, that did not work the way it needed to. The catalog itself is actually a piece that um, gives you a full detailing of the programs that are available, the letters that are available as part of a pre-vetted service, and are part of um, letters that we have run by different compliance departments to make certain that we uh, are within compliance on the different pieces that we offer. And you'll notice in this catalog a number of different categories that come into play. Let's take this to where we can actually read it. It comes with some ideas as to where to mail that letter and for um, the approach that comes as part of that outreach. What do you mean by that, John? Well, if you're dealing with a final expense prospect, you're going to go to a younger age group than someone who you might target for a Medicare campaign. You might look at different incomes versus traditional life insurance, some different pieces that come as part of it. This is an example of one of the final expense pieces. A second one, you'll notice a lot of the final expense pieces make note of the um, lack of assistance you get from the government in dealing with final expenses. This deals with, as does this letter, a marketing approach through pre-needs planning and the legacy safeguard marketing system. Great piece for you. Great way to work your current book of business as well. Another piece here that deals with um, short or disability income. A piece here that reaches out for demand products, including dental, vision, and hearing in this particular letter. Another piece here as well. And you'll notice on a number of these letters, we're trying to come up with additional ways to drive response. So in addition to them having the opportunity of mailing back the letter itself, they also have an opportunity to insert your phone number for a quicker and more direct response. You'll see here uh, hospitalization outreach for a HIP plan, a hospital indemnity program. A second piece for that, specifically for Medicare beneficiaries. And you'll notice, you know, in a lot of the Medicare Advantage plans now, you have a high, higher um, daily hospitalization rate than what we have had in the past. A trend that many of the carriers are using to make certain they can maintain low or no premiums on their programs. And it's a great way for us to help our folks plan for those expenses, plan for the contingency of those expenses, and uh, help with a budgeting process. Additional pieces here um, for much of the same that applies across the board for hospital and, uh, stays, a life insurance solicitation letter, a piece for um, hospital indemnity as well. Uh, another piece here that goes into Medicare supplement solicitations. Obviously, we can still cold call for Medicare subs except for one plan. And so this makes a difference here for us in um, augmenting that or replacing that means of marketing. Another piece on Medicare supplements 
and this it references the tool we make available to our contracted agents without cost that deal with the Medicare Supplement Quote Engine. A great way for you to offer reviews and uh, do it on a constant basis. I think that's one of the things that we find with the mail programs is its consistency that helps you realize the value long term and of the true response rate you get by farming a community. Some additional information on Medicare supplement plans, a pop out type of delivery. Some folks respond better to a letter versus a postcard. Different ways of doing it. Pieces available for offering the annual election period reviews. Different ways of approaching it, three different approaches. And then of course the combo letter uh, that is English and Spanish as well. And a piece that we are using to a great extent right now that appeals to the special election periods that a person may qualify for for one reason or another and throwing in a bit of information as to the extra benefits they would receive if they chose to do so. You'll note that these speak to Medicare eligibility and not to a particular age. The version in Spanish um, for a, an outreach uh, based on the concern over health care reform, additional references to more benefits available without naming them, makes a difference in what you can do with the disclaimers on the piece, and then of course a line in another language that may help with response in particular areas. We have found that a letter in another language is difficult to uh, really process properly just because a person has an ethnic uh, surname doesn't necessarily mean that that surname applies to their language skills as well so this gives them the opportunity to kind of double up on that and make certain that uh, uh, they have the opportunity to respond in the language in which they're most comfortable all of these letters are now available with a phone number insertion available as well to help drive additional response and additional response more quickly. This is a piece that we mentioned dealing with folks in a more um, limited income capacity. You'll notice the recommended demographics with this doesn't go above $24,000. We're looking to capture um, a portion of the population that may qualify for additional assistance doesn't have it in place or has it partially in place and it doesn't really help to send this to a higher income population that wouldn't even qualify for the programs. Some additional letters sent out on a T65 basis with different uh, benefit hooks. Um, more information on open enrollment on a, a person turning 65 and some additional overall letter responses as well. Then we go into some of the order material that we'll talk about in just a bit. When we look at some of the different pieces beyond this and realizing that direct mail is only one of the options that a person should have as part of their marketing program, we need to look at the fact that uh, this particular company in which we do business makes it easy for you to do a direct mailing. Um, the purchasing of the program through ARM uh, takes out of your hands all of the mail stuffing, preparation of the letters, boy what am I going to do to get a response. Part of this is a, a then a response where they the letters are scanned into a system that you access so you have a representation of what they send back to you. Because let's be totally frank and honest here, uh, all a direct mail program or any type of outreach program is trying to reach someone who's willing to raise their hand and say, yeah, I'm interested in what you have to say. They aren't a guaranteed sale. None of the programs uh, that put you in front of people are. This is just a way to get a conversation started and with that in mind, it may influence the letter that you send. So 
while you may have everything you need to sell on the back end, we still need to get you in front of people using direct mail programs. And this is uh, the, the system that ARM has worked up for us where a thousand piece mailer costs $450 um, for that mailing and includes all the back end support for you. Additionally, through February, we are also in a special time period where that mailing doesn't come with a thousand pieces that are going out, but rather 1,200 on your behalf at that same cost. So a 20% bonus of the letters that are going out for you. Keep in mind too, when you go through the different components that ARM has in place to support you, they have the experience with the uh, the letters as to what is effective. Some are more effective than others at different times, and that then is part of your overall mail strategy. You'll want to vary some of the letters sometimes, plus you'll want to take into consideration that, hey, maybe I'm going for a letter with a higher response and a less qualified prospect. You're looking to sell individual health, be it ACA programs or a Medicare programs, but your response on a dental letter is much higher. You get in there, address the dental, and then um, fill your pipeline for periods down the road. Keep in mind that your responses from your letters are your property. Um, you, If you fund that mailing, they're yours, and they don't resell those responses. They also keep that area that you had mailed exclusive for that letter for a period of six months. So when we go through and we look at different letters and different mailings, we have to make certain there are enough people that meet your parameters to uh, mail the minimum drop of a thousand pieces. Then of course that CRM system, the, the database that allows you to manage those responses is very helpful as well. The things that we look to do here at the brokerage is give you additional ways of funding those mailers as well. Um, for eight pieces of business within a 30-day period, um, one letter drop, one mailing drop per month, um, we fund it. So that $450 that we looked at before, obviously you can do it on your own, but with production, um, we help fund that mailing for you. You can simply go to the website to initiate the program. As I mentioned, go into tools, lead generation on our lead menu program. Um, click on the ARM catalog that we showed you here just a moment ago to review the different letters. It'll pop up in another letter uh, or another window. So if you got a pop-up blocker in play, keep that into account. And then you help define what parameters are placed on that letter and the mailing. So you're going to look at what age do I want to pursue? Am I looking to layer it down to a specific household income? Um, what type of dwelling? I don't want to go to trailer parks or, or um, apartment complexes. Normally it's done female first, so if there's two people in the same household, you don't mail the same letter to the same household twice. You have an option to throw in net worth as well. One of the things you look at here then is, okay, do I have enough people that fit my parameters in these additional areas that I need to select as to where the mail actually drops? So if you're looking for a thousand piece mailer for a T65 in one zip code, you got a high probability you don't have enough people turning 65 in one month in one zip code to satisfy the requirements for that mailer. So you have to expand some of your parameters, perhaps go to a larger area, a longer time period in which a person meets that T65 reference, or are you going from a particular point in time where you have a hub or an office set up and you're mailing out from that point. So um, it may ask you then to figure out what do I need to do to get enough prospects for the minimum mailing to get it out uh, in the time period that we're looking for. It's also, as I mentioned before, a strong consideration as to, okay, if I'm chasing final expense, 
Do I necessarily want to mail a final expense letter? The returns on final expense letters are, are normally um, a lesser percentage. You mail a dental letter, address the dental situation, whether they buy it or not, be extemporaneous, do a small fact finder, and roll into a final expense presentation, perhaps using the legacy safeguard system for pre-planning, a great way to maximize the return on your investment in the mailer. Um, as I mentioned, obviously you can mail directly through ARM yourself, mentioning the brokerage, it, it references this catalog and this discounted rate. If you're working through us for the brokerage buck system, we would work to process that order for you. And um, either way, whoever is paying for the mailer is the one that signs off on the mailer. So if we're subsidizing it, we're going to do a sign off with some recommendations to you as to uh, the letter and where you go. And keep in mind, it's direct mail. It's not a microwave. It's more of an oven, so to speak. And it takes a little while to bake. So it takes a while for them to process the letter, it takes a while for the letter to go out, and then it takes a while for responses to come in. That time period can be shortened by using a phone number where they can dial you back, but keep in mind, it takes time. If you order a letter on Tuesday, don't be looking for responses on Thursday. Not enough time for it to happen yet. And what you'll see then, too, is as you submit through our organization, Christina in our offices is going to communicate with you to tell you how to access your responses. There is a recording of that process through ARM that tells you exactly how to go online, pull down the responses, and how you update them to continue subsidized mailings based on production. It gives you the full-blown guide as to how to work the prospect and then allows you to use that system to help manage those responses. We do ask that you follow up on the responses in a timely basis. If we're subsidizing that mailing, you're doing it yourself. That's up to you. If you want to use the system to, to follow up on your folks, I'd strongly recommend that you do. If it's through us and we're paying for the mailing, we're going to ask you to do updates so we can rectify that cost that we're putting out for these mailers and calculating the return on investment. It also gives us an idea as to the responsiveness of a to a particular letter at a particular point in time and allows us to tweak the approach moving forward. So that Recording that I mentioned as to how to use the system is linked here. Um, cut and paste this particular um, link into your URL, into your uh, computer and, and follow up for that to, to make certain that the system works for you and you know how to work the system. Keep in mind, you receive an email when you've been assigned a lead electronically, when a lead comes back, when a response comes back for you. And sometimes these go in the spam and junk folders. So check those folders regularly once you have been set up in the system. Obviously, okaying an email address helps alleviate that problem. But if your spam filter is anything like mine, it doesn't always work. You got to take uh, means to make certain that you get all the messages you need to. In order to maximize the response and the return on the investment you have in this, even if you're using a mailer that's subsidized by us, you are still expending effort and time into this campaign. And in order to make this as effective as possible, it's very important to be consistent in the effort. Doing one mailing and thinking it's going to solve all the problems on a thousand piece mailing, Let's say you got a 2% return on that letter. Well, that's 20 responses. Is that going to do it for you to reach your goals in conjunction with whatever other programs you have in place? Perhaps. But are you going to do that on a consistent basis? Are you going to farm an area? Are you going to work a particular market to uh, utilize different letters to help drive name recognition as well? It's very important to call each response repeatedly and call them on different days and times 
to make certain that you give every effort possible to reach that individual. Some folks will dial three times. Some folks will dial five times. Some folks keep dialing until they get told the direction to Hades. That's up to you. But I would strongly recommend a minimum of three to five outreaches at different days and different times in order to reach the individual. And periodically, revisit the responses. Um, they're butted up and good for you for at least a minimum of 90 days to go back and visit with the folks on an ongoing basis with the permission of the person who responded to you. One of the other things that obviously we can do to help make certain that this campaign receives the maximum of response for you is to work with us to see how we can tweak a campaign on an ongoing basis and make it work for uh, your marketing program and your end result of the goals that you wish to achieve through these efforts. So that said, you've got a number of different pieces there that are part of an overall campaign. Utilizing the resources available to you through one means or another, just through direct mail, um, on, I am going to go buy some myself and see what it does, um, or through the uh, subsidy program, through brokerage bucks, there are a number of different things we can do to help this become a vital part of your overall marketing campaign. That said, I want to thank you for coming on the line with us today, taking the time to review this presentation. Uh, we appreciate the opportunity to do business with you and look forward to speaking with you very soon.